Welcome to the channel called Cadet Mr. Hugh. We aim to become your favorite AutoCAD resource online and we thank you for joining us today. Now we are looking at quadrilaterals um, in today's video. And in the previous video, we looked at the construction of an ellipse and a tangent and normal to this um, ellipse. So perhaps you could visit the video after you have finished watching this one. All right, so let us start the drawing now. So we'll be drawing the square, given the length of the side. So we're going to go to our construction layer. And we're going to draw a base a line. We're going to turn on snap. We're going to turn on ortho. We're drawing the square we're looking at um quadrilaterals and we're drawing the square so we're gonna go line this point and we're gonna go 60 millimeters press enter we're gonna construct a 90 degree let us label these two points um a and b so we're gonna come down to our text layer we're going to select single line text. So we're going to label here. We're going to turn off snap. And we're going to choose a point right here as a starting point. The height, we're going to make it 8 millimeters. Rotational angle 0. And this point would be A. This point would be B. All right, we're going to move it down a little bit. It's a little bit too high, so we're going to move. So select the two objects, enter, click our base point, and we're going to move it down right there. All right, good. What we're going to do now, we're going to draw an arc. We're going to construct a 90 degree at A. So we're going to draw an arc. So we're going to go back to our construction layer. We're going to go to arc, start, center, end. And we're going to click here as a start. The arc, we're going to specify it as 15 millimeters. Enter, and we're going to mark the arc going around. All right. We're going to repeat the process. We're going to draw another arc. So we're going to go center. It will be 15 as a radius, same radius as before. We're going to turn off um, ortho. I want the arc right there. Enter. We're going to mark another arc. What we want to do, we're going to draw extension line from A coming over, right? So we're going to go line from here coming over to there. Enter. So what we're going to do, we're going to draw an arc. From here, and the radius again will be 15. Good. We're going to mark another arc from where these two arcs intersect the semicircle. All right. So we're going to go start center, and the center will be here. The radius will be 15. And then mark an arc like that. Enter. We're going to come back again. So what we're doing, we're actually constructing a 90 degree at the end of the line, right? Going to click there, radius 15. This, where these two arcs intersect, the line drawn to the point A, that is 90 degrees. So we're going to go from A to the intersection, enter. That line would be 90 degrees, right? So remember, we are constructing the square and the first step is to construct a perpendicular at a all right so what we're going to do now we have the perpendicular what we're going to do we're going to actually extend the line beyond the intersection okay so we're going to click on the line grab here the grip and going to pull it up um, all the way up there all right that's a construction line all right now the next step is to put your compass. So I'm gonna go start, center, and compass at A, radius B. 
are going to mark and are coming up. Okay? So this point would be C. All right? No, this point will be D. So I'm going to go to my text layer. I'm going to go to single line text. And right here, I'm going to choose um, here as my start point. And I'm going to la label the height. I'm going to make it 8. So I press enter, rotational angle 0. So this will be D. All right? All right. So from D, I'm going to mark an R the same radius. Um, of the length, the property of a square, all sides are, are equal. So if A, B is um, 60, the arc that I'm gonna draw now from D, the arc would be 60. So we're gonna come here, center start in, the radius would be 60 because that's the length of a side. I come like this. I'm gonna do the same process from B. So we have center, start, end. This will be 60. Enter. Enter. Where do those two arcs intersect? That is a square. So let us draw it now. So can I shift it over a little bit? We're going to draw a construction line now. So um, these lines should be on the construction line. All right. So let's put, on, put them on the construction layer. Good. Now we're going to go to our construction layer. We're going to draw a line from here to there to there. And uh, this would be our square. All right. So let us put these lines now on the outline layer. Drop down here, outline. And there is our square. Uh, what is that mean here? Oh, this line, we'll have to trim it, all right? This line was our construction line, so we're gonna go to this trim here. Enter, all right? So let us um, label it now. So we can make this a little bit smaller. So we can label it, we can go to text, we can go to multi-line text. And we can label starting here, there, and we're going to label it now. Um, the height, I'm going to make the height be um, six millimeters, all right? So we'll say two construct a square. Given the length of the side. All right, so this is it. We can actually make the, the letters um, four millimeters. Let's make them four. All right, so this is our first drawing. The construct uh, square given the length of the side. All right, so good job if you followed along. All right, so we are going to label this corner e C. So we're going to go to single line text. I'm going to click here. Um, the height going to be 8, rotational angle 0, capital letters E. All right. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to come down to here. And we're going to add, so full stop. And we're going to write A, B equals to 60, mil, sorry, millimeter. Mi, small, small common M millimeters, all right? And this would have completed our construction of the square drawing. All right? So good job if you followed along. All right. The next um, quadrilateral that we'll be doing is the 
construction of a square given the diagonal. Thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment and share.